been an hour and not one of my classmates has shown up, I tell you, when I actually die, some people are gonna get seriously haunted. <laughs> there you go, someone came. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go hide. Oh, this is so exciting, my first mourner. <laughs> Hi. Glad you could come. Please come in. Hi. You're Chandler Bing, right? I'm Tom Gordon. I, I was in your class. Oh, yes. Yes. Let me take your coat. Thanks. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry about Ross. It's... No, at least he died doing what he loved. Watching blimps. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, some guy Tom Gordon? I don't remember him. But then again, I touched so many lives. So did you know Ross well? Oh, actually, I barely knew him. Yeah, I came because I heard Chandler's news. Do you know if he's seeing anyone? Yes, he is. Me. What? You mean... Oh! Oh, can I ask you a personal question? How do you shave your beard so close? That's... That's enough mourning for you. Here we go. Bye-bye. All right. All right. Hey, listen. Call me. Okay. <laughs> I'm dead and no one cares? I look like a man? Please, one ridiculous problem at a time. This isn't ridiculous. Look around. No one's here. You gave them one day's notice. Not everyone in our class checks the website every day. And Monica, it's probably the way you stand. <laughs> That's all right. Still, somebody must have seen it. I mean, I went to that school for four years and I didn't have an impact on anyone? Well, that's not true. You had an impact on me. I mean, it's 15 years later and we're still best friends. Doesn't that count for something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. More party boys for Chandler. I'm sure it's somebody for you. Now, go high. Hi. I'm here for Ross Geller's memorial service. Corey? Corey Weston? Yeah. You look amazing. And you are? Chandler. Chandler Bing. And I'm not gay. I'm not gay at all. <laughs> you are married, though. Don't listen to him. He's in a really bad mood. I can't believe that Ross is gone. It is just so sad. Oh, I didn't know Ross and you were so close. Oh, we weren't, but we had one class together. He was such a great guy. And he talked so passionately about science. I always remembered him. I'm sure that would mean a lot to him. And if heaven has a door, I'm sure he's pressing his ear up against it and listening intently. <laughs> I thought so many times about calling him and asking him out. I guess I really missed my chance. Oh, you did it! <laughs> Corey, I, I know this is a big surprise for you. It's a long story, but the things you just said really made my day. I mean, the fact that you are here means more to me than, than if this room were filled with people. You sick freak, who does that? I can't believe I had a crush on you. Did you hear that? Corey Weston had a crush on me. <laughs> I am not dead. <laughs> no, I know it's not something to kid about. Oh. Anyway, it's just a practical joke between Chandler and me, but it's over, okay? Actually, no, even if I had died, you would not be left childless. <laughs> Monica? <laughs> <laughs>